Hey, I'm going to show you an update of the um, EV production suite and that is to bake EV lights into HDRI. I show you how to get the best uh, HDRIs. So I have something into the scene like this and then I add uh, uh, lights up into the scene, for example, the stripe light uh, frontal. Then I go to render settings first because I want to be sure that my render settings are uh, the best ones. And then um, you want to bake indirect light so that the, the lights are baked. And then if you go to um, random view, then you can see what it does. So uh, I press one on my number keypad. And you see, we are in front of the graphic. If you're not in auto graphic, you press uh, five again. Of, you press five and then you will see your front of the graphic. Now, uh, to position the camera in a good uh, way, you press Ctrl, Alt and Zero at the same time. That will place your uh, camera right over there. Uh, but the camera is a little bit uh, far away from the origin. So if I select the camera, I can do that here. Or you can select your camera somewhere on the outliner. And I press uh, G and then Y. And so you can move your camera a bit closer to the to the mid of the scene so something like that uh, most likely you want something like this so and then you can adjust uh, your lights um, I'm not going to do that now I'll just show you how to bake but you can select all your uh, lights etc and then uh, you go over here you see lighting to HDRI um, so before you press this button, uh, you check the settings here. So resolution is not too high. You don't need a very high resolution because these HDRIs are more to light up your scene, not really an HDRI as background to look at. So we can keep this uh, low. That's also good for memory. And the default uh, sample is 500, but you can even put it to 300 like that. Uh, if you have K cycles like me, then I think K cycles doesn't work with uh, NLM. So if you have K cycles, you can use uh, open image the noise or optics, or you can use uh, the the um, the noise. Or you can do that. So you do the settings over here like that, um, and then you click this uh, folder, click this folder, and then you go to I just put it here. So um, let's say. And this is a stripe frontal, stripe um, in, and you have to put dot and an exr. So because that is the file type for HD arise. So you type that in dot exr. You can give it any name. Uh, click accept, and then uh, that's it. And then you can uh, press B to light. So I will stop the recording. I stop the recording and I press bake because uh, that's quite intensive. Hold on. All right. So I pressed the, the big uh, light next to HDRI. I tell you what happened. If you press this button, then nothing will happen. The blender will freeze and you will see uh, that uh, circle uh, going around. And then you see here on top uh, blender not responding. And I have a GTX uh, 1080 Ti and it took with these settings around, I think, two or three minutes. So I did that. And so I have here Stripe EXR. I have to run my list. So that's if you production suite, final promo. Okay. So now um, I'm going to start a new scene like that. So I can, I can I open a new scene, general, don't save. So I have a new scene and let's check uh, the HD right. So I go over here to the world tab. I click on this uh, color, click on the color, and then you say environment texture, right? Open, and then you navigate to your EXR, uh, EXR file where you saved it, and you click open image. So, and then you will see your HDRI. Let me check. I see, well, all right. So, there you have that. And uh, you want most likely to rotate the HDRI. So if you click on vector, reflector, and then you click on vector and on mapping, then you see here two times the word vector. You see vector mapping that does note, and that 
And you see Factor again. That is the, if you click on that, and then you go here, Texture Coordinate Object. And now you can, oh, sorry, you have to go to Rotation, and on that you can move the HDRI uh, around. So let's uh, test this out. So um, let's delete this cube. I add quickly a monkey. I subdivide by three. Uh, I rotate it a bit like that. And I give it a material. So I go to NMS. Uh, let's add something like, um, what do I say? A fake ladder, that's nice. And then let's add this light brown one. Um, so I click the monkey, right click, shade smooth. And now we switch over to cycles. Uh, let's fix uh, the camera setting, a lot of you like that. And let's see how that looks like. So unlocked a view. I want to have um, film. Uh, wait, we go to cycles, apology, and usually I want the tran transparency on. So I go to film and then transparent. So I have that. If I go to the world tab, I can move my HDRI around like that. All right. Yeah, that's it. So you can experiment and bake with the HDRI. Um, if you follow us on Discord, then you will get all the updates and uh, community will help you out. Um, there's contest, etc. So I suggest you to follow that so we can improve um, the EV production suite a bit faster. So we really need uh, feedback from people. And you can also use artists, if you are an artist, uh, and then uh, we can uh, use that. We credit your uh, art and we can use that in um, the promotion of EV production suite. All right. Thanks for watching. And um, yeah, share your HDRI if you want. All right.